friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is an intumescent cataract with very hard nucleus nuclear sclerosis is about grade 4 let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratin this is a real time surgery this is a side port on the left side of the main incision by the keratome itself. One more side port I'm going to make in this case. And this is the second side port on the right side of the main incision by a lance knife. These side ports are about two and a half to three clock hours away from the main incision. If the side ports are three clock hours away astigmatism produced by the main incision will be neutralized to some extent by the side ports now the anti-capsule is stain underneath an air bubble my observation is if we stain the anterior capsule underneath an air bubble staining is very good and staining occurs in a short time and I usually wash the dye out after staining my friends more, many of them don't wash the dye just inject visco replace the air with visco but my practice is I wash the dye and replace the air with BSS and then inject visco this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose this is an intumescent cataract in spite of that I am not going to use any other viscoelastic substance like sodium hyaluronate I don't need that and now this is just making a puncture and turning the tip of the cystitome in such a way that it becomes a C flap. Now I convert this C into a small rexus. At 7 o'clock it tended to go to periphery but I could bring it back immediately. Now this is the small rexus and now a thorough cleaning of cortex as much cortex as possible will be done if we be thorough in this stiff we can eliminate we can entirely eliminate the chance of rexis run out in intumescent cataracts we have to be very thorough in removing the cortex we can use this instrument this is Simco if you don't have this instrument you can use bimanual irrigation aspiration whatever you do you just do a nice removal of lot of loose cortical matter so that the positive pressure inside the bag is no longer there the bag should be almost empty only the nucleus and no loose cortex. Once a thorough cleaning of the cortical matter is done, now inject visco again. Again, 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Sodium hyaluronate is not required at all. But if you want to use sodium hyaluronate, it's fine now enlarging the small rexis making a small nick and then this capsular tag is guided all around remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus a fairly round optimum sized rexis is obtained beautiful rexis isn't it and now we have to manage the nucleus you can see that the nucleus is quite hard nuclear sclerosis is grade 4 at least 
we can see the brownish tinge and in such cases my way of managing this is by my technique which I call submarine chop as a submarine moves under the water under the surface the phaco tip will move through the nucleus under the surface under the anterior surface of the lens mass so first I remove some cortex again turn the handpiece in, such, in this case removal of cortex was not necessary and now watch submarine chop the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus it travels through the substance towards the opposite equator and as it reaches near the opposite equator the chopper is used to get a nice crack then I rotate 180 degree hold one heminucleus and separate the other easily by the chopper now each heminucleus is again chopped into pieces again the tip is buried into the heminucleus and the heminucleus is chopped look the goes through the substance of the nucleus now what happens as the tip goes through the substance of the nucleus the nucleus actually cracks by the ultrasonic shock and it becomes easy to separate the nucleus into pieces now each nuclear fragment is emulsified I usually tilt the fragments and start emulsifying from its apex. From the very beginning, as the tip of the phaco probe was being buried into the substance, the ultrasonic power is about 75%, flow rate is 45 and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And this is the last nuclear piece. During last nuclear piece, I go to FECO 3 mode nowadays where the vacuum is 250 and flow rate is 25 to 30. And now cortical cleanup is to be done. First, I am using the Simcoe cannula. The Simcoe is attached to a separate bottle so by the time my assistant gets ready with bimanual irrigation aspiration I can remove quite a bit of nuclear uh, cortical matter. We can remove the subincisional cortex going through the sideboard but since in this case I have two side ports. I'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of these cortex, the sub incisional cortex. Very gently we have to hold the cortex and remove it. So cortical cleanup is done. Some more cortex was there at around nine o'clock. It is being removed. Some fibers were there. So this is a very nice cleaning. And now hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is done in the capsular bag. The lens has gone in the capsular bag. Irrigation of antechamber and capsular bag is done to remove whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartridge. The lens is nicely centered the 
margin of the optic of the intraocular lens is covered all around by a rim of anterior lens capsule. So this is a very good rexis. And now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the side port. And then a final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time some amount of PSS is directed towards the back of the cornea to remove any visco that may stick to the corneal endothelium. The antechamber is nicely formed. The integrity of all the wounds are checked. Intraocular pressure is checked. There should not be any leakage from any wound. Few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. It will help you in managing your intermittent cataracts.